Type 2 diabetes might sound threatening, but the newest research shows that the condition might be reversible. Why is that? Type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle disease, and its symptoms can be reduced or even reversed by making precise and careful changes in your daily routine. Important note, before trying any of this advice, make sure to consult with your doctor. Let's begin. There are three main types of lifestyle interventions that have a positive impact on managing and even reversing diabetes. Lifestyle update number one, switch to a healthy diet. One of the first steps any person should take after being diagnosed with diabetes is on a quest to reach a healthy weight. This number depends on your current weight, BMI, physical activity level, and other metrics. Abdominal fat, or the fat that surrounds your belly, is one of the critical indicators and probably the most fundamental reason for type 2 diabetes. If fat surrounds your internal organs, and especially the liver, your body develops insulin resistance. It's the driving factor why type 2 diabetes develops in your body. How can you reduce the amount of abdominal fat in your body? You have to get to the bottom of this and learn why it emerged in the first place. Here are the top three reasons. One, eating foods that are high in processed carbs, sugar, and salt. Think junk food, ultra-processed vegetables and grains, or sweets and pastry. Excess sugar always goes straight to your fat storage. Two, leptin resistance. Leptin is a so-called starvation hormone that indicates to your brain if you're hungry. If you develop leptin resistance, your brain believes that you're always starving and have to store as much food as possible, most of the time as fat around your belly. Three, stress and sleep deprivation. If your body is always under stress and you never fully rest, your metabolism slows down. Your body is preparing for the upcoming lean times and it starts to store more fats around your waist as a precaution. Since you already know the reason for developing type 2 diabetes, let's learn how to fix that. A healthy diet doesn't mean that you will need to eliminate all carbs from your diet. The main rule is to focus on a moderate amount of quality carbohydrates. Here are the five rules you must follow to correctly implement the low-carb diet. 1. Find out the optimal amount of total calories, carbs, fats, protein, sugar, and cholesterol for your body's build and current activity level. 2. Space out these calories throughout the day and make sure that you eat every three to three and a half hours to keep your blood glucose levels in place. Three, make sure half of your plate is covered with fresh vegetables and fruit, one quarter whole grains, beans, legumes, and one quarter with lean organic protein. This is called the healthy plate method. Seek to buy fresh produce. Four, seek to cook as many meals as possible at home, especially at the very beginning of your new diet. 5. Always test your blood glucose levels before and after a meal. Well, that's a lot to take in. Let's move to the next element of reversing type 2 diabetes. Lifestyle update number 2. Start intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting might be one of the most effective weight loss methods. It has changed lives and helped manage various diseases for thousands of years. It helps to create a healthful routine that ensures a balanced food intake during the day. Fasting helps kickstart the metabolism, regulate your blood sugar levels and cholesterol, and allow your digestive system to rest. Most cultures have fasting included in their traditions because they depended on the natural cycle of harvest growth. The most basic version of fasting is the good old night sleep. Basically, you don't eat anything that contains calories for an extended time. You can drink water and some other beverages. Fun fact, breakfast is the meal that breaks the fast. Many different fasting routines can range from overnight fasting to alternate day fasting when you fast for two to three days a week. For people with diabetes, and most people in general, alternate day fasting and fasting for more than 18 hours a day might not be the right solution, especially at the beginning. Start with one of the following regimes. 10 to 14, 10 hours of fasting and having your meals over 14 hours. 12 to 12 routine, 12 hours fasting and 12 hours for eating your meals. 16 to 8 routine, 16 hours of fasting and 8 hours for eating. If fasting for 16 hours sounds a bit radical to you, start with the 10 to 14 routine. You probably already do it if you follow the general health guidelines. It's recommended not to eat 2 to 3 hours before going to sleep. If you rest for 8 hours, as recommended by most scientists, in total, you already have 11 hours fast. Make sure while fasting, you don't go over your daily calorie budget and focus on high quality foods during the day. Let's move to the final component of diabetes reversing routine. 
it's the one everyone dreads the most. Lifestyle update number three, schedule in regular exercise. 30 minutes of moderate daily exercise is recommended by every human being on this planet, with no exceptions. Most people think of exercising only through the lens of weight loss. Sadly, it's not the most effective tool for this goal because 80% of your weight loss results come from your diet. Working out has an entirely different set of benefits that cannot be achieved by any other lifestyle intervention. Over hundreds of thousands of years, human bodies developed to be moving, and the current sedentary lifestyle is simply wrong for us. Exercising boosts your metabolism, radically improves mood, regulates blood sugar levels, and cholesterol levels. It reduces the risk of tons of diseases, including cardiovascular problems and many cancers. To stay healthy, we must stay in motion. How to do it if you're not in top shape at the moment? The goal is to raise your heart rate for 30 minutes a day, and it doesn't need to be 30 consecutive minutes. You can have a brisk 10-minute walk in the morning, garden for 15 minutes in the afternoon, climb the stairs for 5 minutes in the evening. Find a way how to move more, and you will start noticing improvements over the long run. Would you agree that these are the top three strategies for reversing diabetes naturally? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you love this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. More diabetes-friendly content is coming up.